So our final topic of you know final topic of the night is uh, music. Um, LB, <laughs> well, I don't know this. I can't really call it music. It's what music and book. Yeah, yeah music. Fuckery. Yeah, yeah fuckery. fuckery. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll just label it under fuckery. Um. So you know, Fifty Cent put out a, a new book recently. Uh, Hustle harder, hustle smarter. Mm-hmm. He had an audio version where he's reading the book himself, which makes it even more hilarious. And he has a whole chapter, and it's like he going at uh, Yayo and uh, Lloyd Banks, and basically just detailing like why you know they weren't as successful as they should have been, and how he kind of failed and being a leader and pointing out their flaws i mean he, he he was really dropping some gems but damn it was some damn backhanded compliments and he was going <laughs> it's like the details that shit was out the petty too but i you know i can't even front on him for that yeah no i mean the big the big thing i mean i have not read the actual book yet and it's on it's on my my um required reading list but I think the big thing on that thing is how 50 went in on Lloyd Banks and Tony Yayo. Especially yeah. Lloyd Banks, though. Um, and and it, it, you've always heard the rumors, you know, with 50 and Lloyd Banks that they're not as tight as they, you know, as they were the, or they appear to be, you know. And um, I know the, the thing that just is just, you know, 50 think 50 with all the time that I think. 50 put into Lloyd Banks, you know, he wanted, I think 50 wanted like more of a return on his investment. And Lloyd is Lloyd, Lloyd Banks is Lloyd Banks. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's not, he, I mean, Lloyd Banks is not a guy that you, that, you know, that you can see that actually wants to be a superstar. I mean, he just, he's a rapper. He likes to do, he likes to rap and then chill. That's what he does. You know, he's, you know, he doesn't want to do all the extra. He's not like he's not. He doesn't need to be off in the cameras, all in the videos, all. Oh, stuff. oh, oh! What did you know? A rapper that actually likes to rap. Oh my gosh, the horror! The no. horror! I, I mean, know. but all that other shit is is part of the job, though, man. Like, yeah, and, uh, but it, it, what it is like, because because now, if you look at it, like. What is Lloyd Banks' isn't, name isn't, in the game right now? Like, isn't that what you have a team for? Like to promote your shit? Like, I get it. I, I listen. I get you, have to, you have to put in the work, though. Like, I, I listen. I get, I get both sides. I just feel like fifties expects too much from everybody. Like he thinks everybody's like him. Not everybody has this hustler mentality that wants to be all up in the videos, all up in all up in the social media. Like Banks is a natural introvert. He likes to lay low. He just wants to do his music and rap. You know what I'm saying? The, like you know in the clip he breaks that down like <laughs> Yeah, the no, way yeah. He even said like Instagram was basically he he admits that Lloyd is that type of person right, and everything. Right. And, and, and what's the issue? Like, do, do, like I'm gonna get to it, nigga. Hold on. <laughs> he was basically saying, like, like for example, like the man has so many different things he do. Like one time he was touring, he did this, did that. And he's like, he was saying how Instagram was basically like he at first didn't under, under, understand Instagram himself, but later on he he figured it out that it was something that was pretty much made for people like Lloyd Banks. Mm-hmm. You just post up an album or a picture or whatever. It don't even got to be you. And you put up a, a punchline or a caption, shit like that. Like, he was just shooting ideas. And he said, like, you know, Lloyd Banks would just say it's corny. Biggie and Tupac wouldn't do it. He's like, you know, 50 Cent is like, nigga, they dead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, how you know if they want to adapt to the times? Like, he basically saying Lloyd Banks didn't want to evolve. Like, 
woman. And, and, and not just with the social media too, but also like his music as well. Like, I mean, because I know 50 is talking about, you know, all I do want to do is like, like write punchlines and stuff like that. You know, you know, he was, yeah, yeah he, I had to feel like 50 I mean, that's his style, but that's the thing, you know, I mean, Jenny Kiss is still punchlines. And it, it ain't really about that. It's just yeah, you know, but, Griselda, but, but, all these other people came up. Uh, like, why, why Lloyd Banks ain't held in that same regard? Kiss, Kiss well, Kiss punchline style is a little different than Banks punchline style. All punchlines ain't punch created lines equal. Is fucking punch lines, nah, man. nah, nah. Ooh. All punchlines ain't created punch lines? equal. I've written punchlines before when, when I used to. Lie, lie. When, when the last time you were the punchline, nigga? Nigga, like whatever, you know, I, whatever. I, I, like, <laughs> nah, nah, but like, but there's a difference between like, like bong bong punchline after punchline after punchline, like every other line. It's like that, that shit gets gets old after a while. Like, yeah, but I'm saying little... like, we we both know like the casual both know them niggas is punchline mixtape type of rappers. Like right. we mentioned Jada Kiss because he's the most famous with that style. You know, fabulous another one, but when you put L- Lloyd Banks is on their level, but he's not on their level. If you get what I'm saying, like right. no one holds him in the same regard as that. And he's a, he, even though his punchlines, I know me and P always go to semantic battles. <laughs> even though his punchlines aren't bang bang bit bop and they're bang bang bim bim. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know niggas be tuned in for that shit, but is, he still category categorized as a punchline type of rapper, right? Because I mean, because I mean, even now, like I mean, Lloyd Banks out uh, today, like I mean, Lloyd, I mean, I was Lloyd Banks rap boy and his flow has changed, and on top oh, of that, it's horrible right now. Yeah, and terrible, do, and do raps over some really dark production, like they, I mean. Like that's why that's where you get the mixtape rapper uh, tag from, you know. Like, dude doesn't. I mean, dude, dude, dude does not rap over trendy production. Well, yeah, well, he, yeah, he does. No, he's he's on record as saying he won't. He doesn't want to rap over the current production because, in his mind, and I I quote him, that's not New York. Like, yeah. the, the, he 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 wants to sound as New York as possible. So, All I'm saying, like, it, it works for Don Q, it, it worked for Davies, like, why not this nigga? Like, they from, they, me, like, I mean, Lloyd they from, Banks, a, they from a different got era. got an excuse. They from a... Well, yeah, I mean, Lloyd Banks was from a different era, I mean... And the thing is, yeah, what I'm saying, but well, then what? Then, then, then what's the problem with them? Then why Jada Kiss and Fab more relevant and more popping? Well, Fab because he did the the, the women's songs. That's the reason. Maybe, maybe, I feel like maybe we're going too deep. But let me just put it like this. Let's just let's just let's just call it what it is. Not everybody is going to be a star. Not everybody is meant to be a star. With those and resources, it's sometimes and it's just talent, as simple as that. Come on. No, it, but it, it doesn't doesn't that like if you don't have it, then you don't have it, and there's nobody that can help you get that. Right, and I think that's 50's problem. Fifty wants Lloyd Banks to do more. I mean, he wants him. He wants him to be out there. He wants him. He wants him to actually, you know, to have a hustle. Like, but that's a, y'all making it seem like he has to break some type of big character change to do all that shit. Like, there's a all, way to I execute mean, a lot of stuff that Fifty was saying without Lloyd Banks, you know, breaking character and shit. Like, here's, like here's even, the problem. Hmm. No, I can go. go. I'll, I'll let you finish, and then I'll go. Well, I'll finish. There was one thing he even said, like he was like he said, Lloyd Banks even had a tattoo on him called Lazy Lloyd. Like he, <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, it's literally like on him. Like he said, he got a tattoo. I was like, wow. Like <laughs> the, the the stories of this shit he was saying. Like like that's why I was feel like, damn. Like this nigga. Like some of this shit seemed. Like, but he did say that. All of this is shit that he said to Lloyd Banks before to his face and all of that, which I believe. Mm-hmm. So I don't get the whole malice angle, but it do sound like it's some hard shit that he's saying, like in the interview. I'm not an interview in the in the book. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking to myself like that's stuff that he could probably kept in house or whatever. But fifty yeah. not, not the type though to not air out dirty laundry on other niggas. Yeah, it, it makes for good fuckery. 
Yeah, and, uh, you know, and, and, and I'm thinking to myself. I mean, what's I mean, and, it, and, and here's my thing about Lloyd. Yeah, I, I mean, fifty's well, petty. Fifty's petty. Yeah, yeah he is. The, the, pro- I, the, pro- the problem is, the problem is, it wouldn't matter what way because fifty would complain about it either way. If he, if he could play, he first off. He was kind of responsible for, he kind of held them back in the way that he, like, he couldn't, he wouldn't allow them to branch out how they were. Like, Banks should have been getting collabs from all types of people that he couldn't because 50 was too busy beefing with the whole industry. Okay, now, hold on. Now, that was only during a certain period of time. We can't put that little certain period of time and put it over his whole career. Like, like, did like Lloyd Banks has had resources. This isn't like a, a guy like Roscoe, or you know what I mean. Like, you know, no, yeah, and you're and you're right about that because because it's that it's a certain generation, and then in in that certain generation of rappers, Lloyd Banks alienated because of '50s beefs. I mean, remember in that period of time, Lloyd Banks was talking about he's a better rapper than Nas. He, I mean, them, them, them niggas were saying whatever the fuck they wanted in that period. And that generation, that rap generation, doesn't. That fuck shit it. lasted for like like three to five years. Everybody else moved on and was able to still have careers and had their name and, out there. And, and, like, then, and that's the other thing too, because he he actually, Lloyd Banks did actually make those collabs, but he just never released the music. Yeah. Which is why? Which is why is, nah, off. The, the problem is. 50 is one of those people that wants it both ways. He wants he wants his people to stay close to him and he feels some type of way if they have some success without him, AKA game. But yet if they stay under his thumb, then he complains and calls them lazy. Like, yeah, they I mean, have it both ways. The, the lazy, I mean, Lloyd Banks got mad like lazy examples and shit though. Like, like even Prodigy mentions it in his book, like the whole yeah, the Prodigy. Prodigy was hustling and shooting shit with videos for the the shit he was doing with Alchemist and all of that and Lloyd Banks, you know, just chilling, but I know yeah, yeah, certain that's... shit with his, his his father was going down, uh he had a death in the family and all of that. So I am not saying like Lloyd Banks had everything perfect, but I yeah, mean and, this nigga and, had and mad opportunities and, and, to be more and, successful. And, and 50's insensitive ass got mad because he was he took time away to deal with the death in his family because in his mind, oh, he didn't care. You know, his mom died, like, and he acted like, okay, like, oh, uh, you know, no, oh, my mom died, but, you know, got killed. Yeah, he, oh, he well. did mention that. Like, like, I'm like, yeah, bro, but everybody take that shit different. Like, and you're you're a grown man saying this shit. Like, your mom died when she was eight, nigga. Like, you've had years to get over that. So, right, exactly. So it's like you can't really, you know, compare. You know, you, you getting over your mom dying when you was a jit and, you know, a, a grown ass man, you know, pops is dying, you know, recently type shit. So, yeah, so at, at the at the end of the day, I mean, some people not I just feel like 50 wants everybody to be like him. And just some people just aren't cut out like that. He actually and, said that shit about Yayo. He he said, <laughs> I don't know why he said it, because Yayo yeah. ain't had the talent, but. Yeah, but he, Yayo, yeah, yeah, Yayo wasn't that, on that type of, I mean, Yayo was the first flop with GU in the, in the G unit scheme. You know? I mean, he still went gold though. That's that. No, that I mean, well, he went, he went gold. The resources. He went gold off of the, off of the, the hits off of, um, um yeah, uh yeah, that so seductive. Yeah, I mean that was everywhere. Yeah. Fucking, fucking hated that damn song. <laughs> you know No, no, but then no, but that's that no, nah, that album had some bangers. I always love that. I know I know you don't love me. You were the same like that was that was she was that shit was oh that shit was so I thought that album was weak. Thoughts of a the album, uh, that, no, that, no, that, no, that, no, the album Nah, the album has some bangers. It's just his 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 weak rap that kind of brought it down a little bit. Yeah, like you gonna need the best beats and the features and shit. They they really pimping pimping. No, pimping was probably my favorite song actually. I mean, do it. Um, he had well, we try some shit. He even had fucking jagged edge on that. And Joe, yeah, yeah, cur- yeah. I mean, Joe. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Curious. That's probably the only collab with G Joe collab that I did like. Yeah, I mean, I I look at it like I I, I see both points of it. Like, in a way, you could say I think uh, I think Lloyd Banks kind of underachieved. 
Yeah, I mean, you can see that he definitely underachieved because, like I said, I mean, yeah. Because the fun things too is like he came up in the era where bars was still looked at as you know you gotta have it, and he got res- he and his bars were his, wow. people respected his bars. So like yeah. you know, for for the cats in that that in, that were young in that generation, he was like, okay, you know, this is what a rapper with bars sounds like at yeah. least. You know? well, well, to, I mean, he also made some bad decisions himself, in not being careful because he, uh, unfortunately, I always say, I think looking back, I would say the pivotal moment in his career where he fucked up, where he should have went, where his career changed into me was when his album, when his second album leaked, because he had the hunger for more. And then he was supposed to have, I think it was the withdrawal or the, uh, the original Rotten Apple got leaked because he was fucking, went to went to some bitch's house for a menage a trois and then awesome. left, left, left it there and then it went and leaked. Like, and then so, after see, that's that- That's a major type fuck of it. And 50 didn't even mention that shit. So just, just just imagine. Yeah, and that, and that and that and, and the funny thing is too is I thought the, the one that leaked album was tough. You know, I, yeah. I, yeah, that shit was tough. And so the garbage that came out with Ryan Apple, I was like, what the fuck is this? Like that shit was weak. Weed play. Yeah, it was it was stupid. Weak. And that, and that's why I was like, I mean, how you gonna have like Scarface and Eight Ball and Rakim on that shit and that shit be weak? You know what I'm saying, like. So and, that's what I'm saying. It's like, like I don't know for some reason. It's like niggas always want to be on some sob story shit with Lloyd Banks, man. Like, yeah, like it's, come it's, on, man. This, he ain't the rigging the owl of fucking rap. <laughs> you know, I was just so I was so disappointed with that damn album. Like, and I still have my copy somewhere. I, I, I like big withdrawal and, and Ryan Apple. I, that, that was the name. That was the name of the leaked album. You know, I still yeah like, the big withdrawal. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was just like, damn, like this nigga could have really done that shit. Like if, if he had been careful, because that cause big withdrawal would have sold in that era. But then, but then he, and then, and then he kind of came back when he did Beaver Benzer Bentley. And then he kind of just went back in his, like, he does this where he just pops up or he pops up, Gary does Russell. something, makes some noise. <laughs> did he ever make a music video for that damn song or no? I thought he did. I thought they did have uh, a No, he did. Yeah, he did. He made a music video for that. I don't think Fab was in it. Um, Joel's, I don't think Joel's was in it, though. Joel's was on the song, too. I don't think he was. But that's another lazy ass thing. He's like the Joel's of. of well, uh, Joel's was on drugs. Ju- that's a different. Yeah, yeah. Ju- Joel's was a damn uh, lean. No, but, 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 his, but his work his work ethic was terrible, too. Yeah, when you're on right. leads, of course it's going to be terrible. Yeah, see, that, see, that's the thing. It's like. No, Dwayne Santana Wayne. was a, a different type of fuck up. Yeah. Wayne was a drug addict too, and he his ass stayed putting out a mixtape every damn week. Gucci Mane was a he drug laid. addict, and he some niggas is like we talked about earlier with the flaws. Some people can manage their flaws. Oh, aka yeah. aka functioning drug addicts. Yeah, yeah, fun- yeah. You functioning at a high level if you dropping mixtapes every week though, and they yeah, successful. Yeah. Yeah, Jules so, so so what so what's Lloyd Banks' problem if he got a full functioning brain and pen and pad and in the studio and all this shit? The thing, but the thing with him too is like you never know when he was actually going to drop something. Like it would just be like, I, 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 random. I, 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 I'm like, oh, this nigga dropped the mixtape. I remember I used to see if you know, like, oh, oh, I'm dropping the new mixtape. Oh, okay. Like dude, I mean, he, nothing. Like he, because I mean, he, he would like, dude, we know nothing. He just be out of nowhere. I just, I just feel like, honestly, I don't, I, like, what he, was he? I don't think he was ever so gonna be a super big name like a fifty. I think the success that he got was as high as he was gonna go. Like, him nah, and, him, hell no. He, he was never gonna be fifty, but he, he was definitely supposed to be bigger, bruh. Yeah, I mean, no. I, I don't know. Maybe because I, I, as much as I like, like I'm saying, like from a commercial wise, I look to him on the same level as a Cassidy. Cassidy, like a what you know, no, 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 nah. You, you just sold bank short as fuck. If that's the case, but no. Yeah. Cassidy, Cassidy was dope as fuck. What are you talking about? Cassidy was dope as fuck, but he only had one element. Like, like bitches in school used to just love Lloyd Banks. Like, like people like. He yeah. had he had more the image they and love everything. Cassidy like too. Cassidy yeah. was just a little battle rapper ass nigga. Like yeah, yeah, no Cassidy. I, he I, ain't I, had a team, no crew, no. Yeah, I, I never thought Cassidy was gonna actually make it. Like yeah, they, like, I, I, I never thought he was gonna make no, it. I, I, I mean, I, I ain't think Cassidy was gonna really rap. go anywhere. Like 
I mean, people around me that like were like everybody loved Cassidy, but like I feel like that was I, as I high did, as he was. Good. I, I, did. I thought Cassidy. I mean, was niggas, awesome. niggas loved Cassidy, but it wasn't like it wasn't the type of yeah he got next he gonna blow type shit like like Cassidy was more like <sighs> like. Yeah, Cassidy. Like, like, if Cassidy stack was, bundles would have got the okay, Cassidy okay, level, okay, we would have okay, been okay, right. okay, okay, okay. Cassidy, so, Cassidy's what about this error? I would say that. Okay, okay, okay. What about like, should Lloyd have been what where Meek Mill is now? Is that his level? Quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, I, I could say that's quite possible. Yeah, I can yeah. say that's possible. Yeah, because I didn't think Meek was actually going to get that level himself. Yeah, I didn't either. Like, and, and Meek is way less talented. Like, yeah. <laughs> But okay. okay. And I'm not even a big Meek fan, but Meek is actually put up. Yeah. It's actually a ball to actually put up better music than Lloyd Banks, which is. Well, Meek has Meek has Meek has crazy personality, so I could see why yeah. he. So I mean, but yeah, but Lloyd know. makes up for it with just the overall better rapping, and it's not yeah, by like I'm, a little bit. It's like a whole couple notches. Right. Unfortunately, we're kind of in the era where people don't even care about actual rapping. So, but that's what I'm saying. It's like Lloyd Banks already had a head start. All he had to do was just keep it going. The funny thing is, too, it's not like Lloyd Banks isn't collabing. He is. He he has to collapse, but he's not putting those collabs out. That's that's. I think that's what Fifty says. Like he collabs with a whole bunch of people, but the music is just not being released. Or now, or it's too late. That that's so. That's, so basically, he he evolved into J Electronica. Like, like the stuff he does put out is like it's like the dark shit. Like, I mean, doesn't he, doesn't he have like um, collabs with like West Side Gun or Griselda or anything like this? He has collabs with those cats. Um, so I, I know. <laughs> so I know I've heard some shit, and, and, but he, I, I think he just he he found his 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 spot. Like that's that's what it is. Like. If he don't have to worry about, you know, have to have to do any serious type of work again, he could just do, you know, he could drop a tape on a whim, and maybe a few people care about it. Maybe some people don't. I mean, guess that's what it is. Like, you know, he he made his impact in the world. And on top of that, though, G Unit is still big overseas. That's another thing. So. Yeah. So yeah, if, so if he needs a bag, he can just go off season and get a bag, and he's good. And and it's not like you know, and I don't know if he talks about Young Buck later or whatever. I didn't get to that part in the book, but um, oh god, it's not like no. I'm saying it's like it's not like Lloyd Banks is the only one that underachieved. Like you know, Young Buck did too, because Young Buck was as big as Lloyd Banks was up, up north in, in New York and shit. Young Buck was like that down here in the south. Like, man, I didn't think Young Buck. I didn't think I didn't think Young Buck was that good, but yo, no, no. I, Young Buck made good music though. It's a difference. It's like he he didn't have the bars, and he didn't have the best flow, but like he put together the songs and, and his, the, uh, you know, honestly, his G Unit album was tough. I, I yo, he, to album. me, he had the first, best, no, the first one. The first one. Solo. I think that album. Uh, that, I, I, I like the documentary more than than his first solo. Than Buck's first solo. But Honestly, Buck's first, I mean, because the game had the, the Avengers, like everyone had to come and help game on his shit. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but, then, but then with that, but then with that Young Buck album too. I think that's like the last album where I actually liked a Dr. Dre, a Dr. Dre beat. You know, damn, that, yeah, damn. Like, I'm not Buck gonna go that far. Like real Young Buck album, like game, his damn name dropping. I mean, that's kind of all the good shot. looks. <laughs> Yeah, no. I, honestly, I didn't. The documentary was it was cool, but I didn't think I didn't think it was all of that. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, it, wasn't it was dope, it, but it wasn't like yeah, I like. I didn't think yeah, hunger. Was, hunger for more. Hunger for more was dope to me. That's the thing. Like, it's one of my favorite G Unit albums. So, I, yeah. so I mean, I always look at it Bob, like you know, Buck Banks, and then Fifty Game and Yayo. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, for documentary, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, them joints used to bang in the clubs of a documentary. Like, that shit used they to, did. you know, fucking, they this did. is how we do, nigga. Yep. What? Yeah, that shit used to be, that shit used to have the clubs, like, going crazy. How, you know, in a Hater or Love It, and then, you know, yeah, Hater or Love It was everywhere. Yeah, Hater or Love It's fucking classic. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. And I, I remember, 
Yeah, because mm-hmm. I remember I seen because I used to watch Gick. His game used to do like small shows in Hartford even before he like he blew up with G Unit. And I remember too, it was like he was standing around like no one like was really talking to him, like no one was like like acknowledging him. I was like, damn, like this nigga should really blow. And sure enough, he did. Because like, no, because um, Fifty was in Connecticut. Fifty used to live in Connecticut, so that's the reason why he used to do them shows in Hartford. Um, yeah, yeah with Ty- Tyson Mansion out there. Yeah. So I was, so it's like it's like okay, this is good. Like you know, game, you know, game, it finally blew up, and that's and but then when game left, you know, Jake, he put up better music than anyone yeah. on the unit, every and every single one of them. You know, so, and, and 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 that's why I thought Lloyd Banks should have done. Lloyd Banks should have should have been. Yeah, he should have really like took off, like yeah, like it's like they, it's like almost everybody, everybody peaked on G Unit except for Game. Right, you know, and like I said, and then a lot. I mean, I didn't think Ye was ever gonna grow. I mean, shit, the way that Fifty was talking about him in there, like Ye would be like, we get show money and talk about yo, let's flip it to get like cocaine and shit like that. That was it. Yeah. And Fifty's like, yo, you can't do that. Be like, yo, let's take this hundred thousand mm-hmm. instead of putting it in the bank. Let's get three and a half, you know, kilos. Yeah. And now that's some real money. I'm like, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yale was too hood for his own good. <laughs> and that's why he only released one album, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but besides the G Unit albums, yeah, you know, and he wasn't even that good anyway. So yeah, no, no mixtape on the mixtapes like before, like they were. Yayo held his own. Yeah, you know what? Because Yayo's a do a type of dude that's dope in small doses, mm-hmm. and are when you don't expect much from him. Like when you put him on the mixtape songs. Mm-hmm. Like his shit was snapping sometimes, and, and even yeah. on that song he had on the documentary that uh that run, that ghetto like that, the one song he had the game he he killed that shit the the I run New York like yeah you'll be dope sometimes like yeah no but it, but I don't it, he ain't dope enough like where I'm like all right let's give him seventeen songs and some production and yeah and and and, and the one thing that. I, Fifty did admit to. He, I mean, Fifty did admit that like, the G Unit brand was probably dead, and it is dead. I mean, yeah, no one's gonna, no no one's no one's wearing the damn tank tops anymore, or have the bootleg ass G Unit jewelry that you would find in the back of a source mag or anything like that. No one's running around with them shits no more. You know, I mean, and he admitted to it's like, and then because pretty much, you know, because none of, none of the rappers evolved the brand. Like, there's no one on that brand, and yeah. and I think with what Fifty did, like. And I don't know why fifty why fifty targeted Lloyd Banks more. I mean, there are other other reasons. Like he could have targeted his other artists too. I mean, nah, dude, but I think because he saw Lloyd Banks had the most potential. Right. Like, young Young Buck was good, but Young Buck had the mental problems, and he had all the legal shit always going on. <laughs> mental problems is being nice about. What you yeah, I'm just being nice about that shit because <laughs> like the you know the. The drug problems, all that I could have really went into it, but nah, you know. The sexuality problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the fucking tranny problems and all that. And yeah. see, that shit, we didn't even know about all that shit back then. Hell no. Nah. All, the, all the goon shit. Remember, he's stabbing niggas on TV. Like, yeah. so he probably looked at that like, damn, okay. But then, you know, remember Buck came later. Lloyd Banks was there from the beginning. Right. Yes. And Lloyd Banks had bars, if you remember those tapes. So of course he's probably gonna look at him like, yeah, yeah he could go all the way. Yeah, and no, he went all the way. He just stopped going all the way. <laughs> yeah, and and part of it looks like like it might have just been Lloyd Banks just was probably just tired of the industry, tired of the industry, tired of the beefs. He like said he was in for just wanted to chill. And like and the thing is too, like and Lloyd Banks is not broke. I mean, he makes money. Apparently, he he, he must. And I think it just kills Fifty because he's like he's making money on his terms, not on Fifty's terms, you know. So, and that's what and makes Fifty it. just gotta live with that. He just gotta like they both gotta live with that shit. Like, it, it get to the point. Like, I think this should be the last time like he mentions all that shit. Like, right? Because I mean, because I mean, Banks is gonna be you know Banks is Banks cool. is Banks. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be forty. I mean, there's only so much a nigga can do. Like, he's not gonna be crossing over, like that. I mean, he, nigga's almost forty years old. He's nah, not gonna be... it, it, the time's already up. Like, it already happened. Like, you know, right, right, right now, Lloyd. I guess ben- he lived up to the lazy Lloyd. <laughs> I mean, if anything, like you know, Lloyd would have shut up 
should have been something like I mean, Lloyd could have done his own label, or he could have been a ghostwriter or some shit, or he could have done something else outside of music. But yeah, but one, but that's that, that's pretty much what Lloyd Banks. That's the, that's the level he's on right now. He's not. Yeah, he's not going to do. He's not. He's not going. He's not going to think of a TV show to shop to stars or <laughs> other shows or some other prison show. That's not him. He's not going to be on Instagram. And honestly, too, like Lloyd Banks, you know, is 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 like the other rappers of the best because you know, you know, rappers used to have a mystique about him. Lloyd Banks still has his mystique about him because no one know, really knows what the fuck he's doing. You know, yeah. He, he just chills. Like the only thing no one's seen is he doesn't post his kids. He doesn't do any of that shit. You know, he's just. Yeah, I mean, long as at the end of the day, long as he happy, you know, I'm all good. It's all good. Yeah, you know, but um, yeah, he, the, you know, they're looking like Michael Beasley or <laughs> you know, out there, you know, gooped out, geeked out, whatever the fuck. Yeah, you know, no, he he just. just I he mean, looking it, like Shorty from in the house. Uh, what's that shit with L? In the house. In the house, yeah, my, yeah. yeah if he yeah. ain't looking like Shorty like that, and you know I mean, he just. Cool. But, I, so. but also, I also think that fifty. Also, I mean, I, I also think that fifty two is also probably using him in a way as a scapegoat, a scapegoat for his other, like other failures. I mean, yeah, I mean, Yayo is Yayo and stuff like that. But I mean, there's no. I mean, he, he takes it responsibility. Like he does admit that he failed. Like he made some mistakes too on that shit. Like, yeah, because because I remember too because in that book they were talking about. How Fifty knew that his own his music was whack, but he didn't care because people liked it. And I'm and, th- and that <laughs> falls, and that falls in line with some of the shit I used to say about Fifty. I was like, when, when Fifty started putting out shit like you know amusement park and candy shop, I was like, is anyone telling this nigga this shit is whack? Like, this shit was, and then this nigga would be on there talking about, well, I used to I would rap like this more because you know people in the south they rap a little slow and the fans are a little slow, so that's why I changed up my flow and shit like that. And he was saying everything. I was like, he was saying everything to piss me off. You know, in terms of it was like, why am I even supporting this thing anymore? <laughs> you know, but then he, but then 50 just realized he chased the bag. He admitted it. He chased the bag. He's like, you know, well, if people like it, you know, why am I going to stop making it? And then he put himself in his, he put him, he put him, he put his own self in the corner where he's talking about Lloyd's music didn't evolve. His music didn't evolve either. I mean, his last real hit is I Get Money. You know what I'm saying? That was that, that and that was a gas. But see, that's the thing. It's like he's he made some dope songs like after that. It just that's like the last hit. Yeah, and then I'll never forget when they try to he tried to make AO technology a thing. I'm just like, dog. I was like, if you look out here with this bullshit, you know, I remember that song was, wasn't even bad though. And that shit was terrible. I remember too, um he, he, like he he performed that shit like on an MTV special. Or I think it was like either like a new New Year special or whatever, and no one was feeling it, so he switched to, you know, in the club, <laughs> and everyone was like, "Yeah," and I was just like, "Fifty like he, I, I, the audience." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yeah," I think Fifty knew that his time was probably up by then, if you know, because in the when, club, he, when he lost a battle to Kanye, it's like I think that was like letting us know. Yeah, and and, and, and I also think too, like Fifty to his core. You know he does. He does think of himself as an MC and wants to be known as you know hot MC. And then, and, and and you know in those days like Lloyd used to outshine him something serious. Like you know yeah, Fifty has the has the unmistakable voice and the flow and everything like that in the in the list because the guy shot in the mouth and everything like that. But, but you, were, you you was running the tape back because of what Lloyd said. Yeah, no Lloyd. You Lloyd used to Lloyd used to kill them G Unit mixtapes. My God. Yeah, I was like, it was like, this dude, like this dude, this dude got it. You know what I'm saying? He and he killed the first G in a group album too. You know, that shit, that, that shit, is, that shit is a personal classic, by the way. Yeah, I, I fuck with. Man, I feel like Banks said, I mean, uh, Bug, Bug, Bug really outshone niggas on that shit. Like, he did, you know. It, it, he did like yeah, and just the fact I mean, like I said, G Unit had a run, had had a good run, yeah. and, and like I said, they they and they fell off, like you know, they yeah. For off. as strong as the initial run was, like you would think they would be more relevant than just being in like on some damn tabloid shit that they on now. Like I mean, basically, in spite too, because I mean, because I, I think like, the two biggest like groups in the mid two thousands. Were them and Dipset, um, and I respected. I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't like Dipset at all. I'll be, I'll be 
I'll be totally honest. I did not like the name. Oh, you, you, nah, you're not wavy. <laughs> but, you're not wavy. That's why. <laughs> but no. I respect the movement. Yes, the movement was strong. Though. Like if the drip if. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, now if I did, I would say that I didn't like G Unit, and I loved G Unit back then. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like now, Dipset to I mean, me was way like, better. You work their security. I mean, Dipset made better music, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a different argument for a different day. But um, but no, I'm saying, don't, like, don't be Terry Claw. Don't be Terry Claw. <laughs> that means you very soft. <laughs> You know, but but it's but the relevancy they, they share the same relevancy now. Like both of them, it's like you know people look at G Unit as like they're they're old, they're dusty. Dipset, they're <laughs> old and dusty, possibly cracked out as well. I mean, but Jim Jones had a little resurgence with his damn music. Cameron just dropped a hot tape. Like I don't know, Dipset got a bigger name than G Unit right now. Like G Unit is like dead, nigga. Like. And G Unit had more success, like if you're talking yeah. about like sales success, they had more success. Like literally, like I mean, yeah, because everybody on G Unit was going like platinum and shit. The only the only person who who went gold was Yayo. Yeah, and then of course when Fifty tried to diversify his bonds, you know he signed Mob Deep, and I forget, and I try to forget that period. And, and MOP they went gold. They album was straight. It was fucking MOP and Olivia that they didn't do shit, and, and they got dropped. Olivia, and that was Olivia's second chance that I remember too. And oh, when Game pretty much ripped them all, new asshole, calling Olivia Oliver. That was my that yeah, I fucking that that show, that whole. I remember the damn like the DVD commercial they used to show on BET, and like and Game was beefing with them niggas, and he had like he was standing in Manhattan or something. He had like a stick. And he's like, Olivia got a dick this big, and he throws a stick into the ground. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this wild. Yeah, <laughs> you know, them, beats, them beats were so were so wild though. But this is hilarious, bro. But yeah, between that and then you know, like 50, 50 losing the sales to Kanye, Kanye yeah, that's like, that's like the end of G Unit in the mainstream. <laughs> You know, like no, like I, mean, I almost felt like they ain't even like. It's easy. The difference is, I think, with the Dipset and like G Unit. I feel like Dipset, like they really lived, like they really like believed in the brand, like they lived the brand. Where I feel like G Unit was kind of like fifty forcing that shit on all them niggas, and it's like he made it to a point where, like, I'm forcing you to be successful no matter what, and. Them niggas fell apart afterwards. Yeah, no, because like some people respond differently. Because I remember, because I mean, I read that apology book. I have it. You know, probably, you know, rest in peace, apology. Or that it, infamous meeting. Yeah, like in 50s, 50 used to be like used to be amazed at Prodigy's hustle. Like, like he's probably the only one that Fifty didn't shit on. Like Fifty yeah, was that, like, that meeting. What's his name? Was catching feelings like Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. You mean you, 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 you see, is this meeting about me? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, that's the thing. Like 50, 50 respect of the hustle. Like, and like, even if you weren't doing what he wanted you to do, but if you were doing something to like make yourself bigger, fifty respect of it. That's why Prodigy never got. He was like, you know, damn Prodigy, you got this deal after doing that, or you did this after doing that. Yeah, that was fifty in the whole, in the whole sense of Prodigy. Like he was, he, he was, he, he was impressed with them. But yeah, Lloyd was just like, nah, nah. You know, it's just like, yeah, that's like I, I ain't, I ain't getting on no Instagram. Yeah, you know, yeah, and and, and, it's, and it's sucks too. That's gonna be, I mean, that's gonna be G Unit's legacy. I mean, well, G Unit and Dipset both fell apart because of in in fighting, and especially Dipset. Uh, think, Dipset. think about this, like you'll you you you'll still rock a, a dope ass Dipset jacket or a shirt, but you wouldn't touch nothing that say G Unit on it. I know, I didn't touch it. Uh, G Unit, I love the music, but that clothing was terrible. Yeah, exactly, right. like the Dipset brand. Oh, yeah, like, that clothing line, that yeah. clothing line was horrid. It was like, like the Master P of New York. Like, <laughs> like I, 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 I wear woodwear before I wear GU in 2020, bro. Anybody, I, I would yeah, wear. That's not even no hard choice. No, I would wear that in 2005 before I wear G Unit. 
Nigga, Fila will come back before fucking G Unit, nigga. Fila. Nigga, British Knights will come back. Mark, I wear Echo. I wear Echo before G Unit. Nigga, I wear South Pole before I wear fucking G Unit, nigga. I mean, you seen like the damn uh, the NBA jerseys with the dipset shit, like, like that shit still look fine. Like they still sell the clothing, man. Like and people still fuck with it. Like no one ever G Unit brand. Like if you can't sell your logo or your clothing, then the brand officially dead. Yeah. If you could always sell the clothing and shit, then, then, then yeah, that's just a lot. Then people still fuck with it, but. Yeah, no. You can sell G unit on a piece of paper. I would rather wear Rockaway than G unit. Shit, I still, I still, I still. Yeah, yeah. Rockaway was dope. Shit, I still wear like I, I still wear. I throw out my Rockaway shirt when I have a different Aaron shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but G unit niggas ain't niggas were rocking the Braziers. Yeah, yeah. White boys in the hood was wearing. White boys in the suburbs was wearing. Yeah, uh, white boys, no, white boys definitely no, that shit. Nobody in the hood was wearing G unit. <laughs> you know, them G unit tank tops. Nah, nah, that that shit wasn't cool. That shit was not cool at all. Niggas wasn't even rocking the G unit Reeboks. <laughs> that's how you know you can't. That's how you. That's how you know your brand is trash. You can't even sell sneakers. Yeah. So yeah, that's I mean, the thing like rap, rap never really could sell sneakers like that. Air Force ones, fucking. When, no, we talking about original he, shoes. Not no, yeah, no, 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 I don't no, count. No, no, don't, don't, don't try to give Nelly or nobody credit for Air Force ones. They latched well, on. I don't like no fucking Nelly. But I was just saying that. I was just saying. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about a rapper coming out with their own shoes. Yeah, That's yeah. I, I, I was gonna have to cut you off. Right? Them Hurricane <laughs> games, ugly. Them shits was ugly. <laughs> G Unit sneakers, ugly. Yeah, no. So I mean, it's sad though. That's, that's the G, that's Genius legacy right now. I mean, you know, it's just like they had a run and that was it. Like, I mean, I mean, we're we're not gonna get like a Wu movie or a Wu uh, Wu show on Hulu on the Unit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, I don't even think we'll get a documentary from that shit. Yeah, because it'll show I mean, the one that already happened. Yeah, because it will show in a bad light. <laughs> You know, so yeah, it's a shame. You know, it's a shame that G Unit felt like it did. You know, and it's a shame that Earthy still needs to need laundry out. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I guess it's gonna help sell the book. You know, had me interested. In shit. Yeah, no, yeah. I definitely. I mean, I'm definitely gonna go get the book myself. Yeah, uh, I, I can say I guess it worked. <laughs> I mean, but, but we knew we knew um, fifty, you know, oh, was crazy, and then uh, Lloyd, you know, was a little lazy and shit. So it's not like it's nothing new, but you're just getting more perspective on it. It's adding more shit to the to what you know or you might not know. But, shit, now, now, now that you now that you mentioned like what rappers have good sneakers, now I'm thinking, oh wait, that's something else Kanye beat Fifty in the sneaker department because I yeah. I don't wear them, but Yeezys are probably the only rappers shoes that are popular that everybody rocks. I don't even like Yeezys. But yeah, I think I, I think those shoes are trash. What <laughs> score two for Kanye? They damn, people still love, wow. but the, the they females love. Them. Female, usually females be rocking these. He's like crazy. But, I see dudes yeah. rock them shits too. Like, yeah, he, he won. Nah, but like, dudes be rocking them pink, fruity ass ones. That like, what are you wearing that with? Like, you, you, boy, you, you gonna wear a purse with that? Like, nah, get out. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. My one of my boys that work, you know, when we used to have casual day, he that, he, he rocks the GZs to the office, man. You know, it's like I'm it's like them shits look like moon shoes. Like why? Like you know, it's just like them shits. Them shits are ugly as fuck. I'm just like I think, yeah, that's, I, I think I, that's what hip hop wanted though. They ain't want. I, I'd school. rather I'd rather I'd rather bring back the Wallabies than than uh, wear Yeezys. I'm good on that. <laughs> Kanye had to sell it as some designer shit, like it's on some fake dope shit. But you know it works because niggas is on that designer shit, right? Like hood niggas ain't want sneakers from rappers; they want the sneakers from the damn ball players. 
<laughs> Facts. Like, yeah. We we know your ass can't play ball because if you, if you could play ball, you'd be playing ball and not rapping. So why the fuck are you dropping a shoe, nigga? <laughs> Cough, cough, Master P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, mean, I know it was his dream. I mean, I, at least he played for, you know, a few practice, a, a few preseason games for the Raptors. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, 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 and he dropped the worst sneakers, rap sneakers of all time. Yo. Yeah. I don't think there's any sneakers worse than him. Facts. No, but that, that's the thing. That's what happens sometimes when you first. <laughs> <laughs> You get all the criticism when that shit go wrong. <laughs> and yeah, everybody yeah. always going to remember it. Yeah, like I said, I mean, he got to play in the NBA. You know, you know how, many, how many people can say that? He played in the NBA. Yeah. You know, but, but 50 Cent can't say it. <laughs> no. I think, but branching back, I think unfortunately these these you know the, these guys their their legacy is going to be tied to 50 and not in a good way. Like yeah. it's sad when it's yeah. like we're looking at them as underlings, when half the time the underlings made better music than the head honcho. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and and, and, and like I said, I mean, and like I said, for what for the run that they had, and they, and their run was significant enough that it shouldn't be like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, like they own, they're the ones only to blame, like. How many times that damn young buck, you know, beef with fifty, you know, come come back and be on some crazy shit, beef with fifty, come back. You know, how many times Lloyd Banks gotta get told that like, yo man, shoot a video, do something. Yeah. How many times yeah, yo gotta be told not to flip a brick, like <laughs> not, not to shoot up some some somebody garage. Like you ain't, ain't you know, uh, give me henchman shit. Yeah, or I'll smack somebody's to- nephew or kid or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, there, there's something else, and like I said, it's, you know, it, it's a shame, you know, it's, it's a shame. That's what, that's what, that's what their legacy is. Fifty bashing him in his book. <laughs> like damn, it's like, well, fucking just. Like he can't get over it, like bro. Like it is what it is. Like get over it. Yeah, like it, 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 I it, guess it, if we could. If people coming up trying to be in his shoes and trying to learn from it, I guess that's dope for them. Yeah, no, but if, if, if like I said, I mean, he'd be happy that they actually found their own way to actually make you know make a living without having to be you know without him having to be involved. You know that's what he should be actually he should be happy about because most like Dipset do- doesn't have that. They sure as hell. I mean Jim Jones does something, I guess. You know. But... Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, whoa. is Dipset really doing bad like that? I mean, no, Joe's been dropping some hot. His last three albums have been fire. Jim, that's Jim what Jones I'm saying. Like... Like... And then the other stage was dope I too. I personally don't listen to Jim Jones' music because I never thought he was anything special. Look, he's much better now. He's better than he's better now than he's been in fifteen ever. years. Yeah, ever. <laughs> so I uh, guess the, the moral of the story: if Jim Jones can fucking evolve, then Lloyd Banks should have too. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not surprised Lloyd Banks did it because I think all the rappers that I really liked back then coming up. Didn't resort, didn't amount to shit. Like I, I, I live in a, I live in a world where Joe Budden is more popular as a media guy 15 years later than what he was as a rapper. Like what? Yeah, the? and and that and that could probably be a future podcast. Like look at because there were because that because the early 2000s was was when the mixtape rappers kind of got themselves into the mainstream, but they never. Yeah, I'm, Looking at you, Graf. Looking at you, Ali Vegas. <laughs> I mean, there was a whole bunch of them. I mean, Papoose, <laughs> Saigon. You know, yeah, they was... came in like a, a wave. Yeah, they, yeah, it was like, yeah. I mean, it, it, but yeah, that's definitely a, that's definitely a future podcast to figure out what happened to those cats and why didn't they pop. That's that that would be a. But for now, if you want to know why G Unit didn't get as big as they were supposed to, just. Check out 50 Cent new book, um, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. 
fast. You can get that. You can get that Amazon, or if you're, or if you're, you don't want to go, you can go do a Google search. But or you can go on YouTube and get the audiobook and listen to Fifty talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But uh, yeah, I think we, I think we touched upon that subject. Yeah. <laughs> so we come to the end of our podcast. Um, LB, do you have any final thoughts? Nah, just ringgameradio.com. Um, y'all just keep hitting us up. Uh, follow the uh, the Soul Wars, you know, Shutterworth on Instagram, Twitter. Um, we got that new Forgotten Fades article up. Yes, sir. Classic fight. We might have to just talk about that on the next the next one. But uh, y'all check that out. Ricardo Williams versus Juan Valenzuela. Dope ass fight. Um, yes, sir. Just on some throwback shit, but uh, we'll have more shit coming your way. Um, shout out to the rest of the crew. You know, prolific, you know, working on the cartoon and shit. You know, Panarchy with the beads. You know, Rome just dropped COVID freestyle. Yes. Uh, you know, we out here. You know, shout outs to uh, DZ, PJ, whole, whole squad making, making it do. So, that's, that's all I got to say. Ringgang.com. I mean, ringgangradio.com, nigga. Shit. Hey. So somebody ever remember that? Oh, he said ringgang.com. <laughs> Word. That's what it is, man. Uh, P, do you have any final thoughts? Mm, same sentiments. You already know. Gang, gang, ring, gang, 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 radio.com, com, com. Check out that new Forgotten Face. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube. Twitter, you already know what it is. Yeah, that's what it is, man. And uh, my final, and then my final thoughts. Oh, okay. you for a little bit, P. <laughs> uh, my final thoughts is basically, um, you know, I, uh, earlier this week, uh, last week or whatever, you know, a friend, of, you know, a friend of mine, unfortunately, passed away. And um, a friend of mine, of course, he he was someone who was actually. Was pretty known in the late 80s you know he was dealt with epmd um and then brashed off he did his own thing um talk about my man stizo uh, my man steve williams um who passed away unfortunately from heart problems in his sleep at the age of 51 and um you know in in stizo he was someone that i could not only not only I can talk back, I can tie back to like a whole bunch of rap members because dude used to drop a whole bunch of stuff, um, a whole bunch of game. Because he, he he opened up a barbershop where I grew up in, in the town I grew up in. So he used to go there. It was, it was like a hip hop museum. Like he had everything from old posters to pictures of celebs. You know, he had something called Beat Heaven where all the beats that he sampled, the records, the he put them up in the ceiling. Um, it was like a decoration. He had his gold plaque up on there. Um, Steezel was a Steezel was a cool cat, man. And like, and Steezel always used to like drop notes. Like, and one thing he used to do is like he used to ask me like, "Yo, how was school?" And he and he asked me that shit well after I've actually graduated like college and everything. You know, my I got my masters and everything. He'd say, "What school?" And he'd be, he used to be like incredulous that, "Oh, you know, uh, you know, is like, you're working?" I was like, "Damn." It was like, shit, time flies. And he used to be funny like that. And another thing that he used to do, like, Steezo was a boxing head. And I don't, th- I don't think in all the stuff, if you ever, it wasn't really mentioned enough, but Steezo was old school. Steezo had tapes upon tapes upon tapes of fights. And it used to be, you know, in the 90s, it wasn't like I could talk about boxing with just anybody, you know what I'm saying? But so the fact that I could talk about boxing like that with a, with someone who was a, who was a celebrity, you used to be you used to be like, oh shit, you know, Steezo knows the stuff. And Steezo used to go to the fight center. He used to sit there. We used to, as he's giving me my shadow fade, he used to have tapes going. Like if it wasn't the Jerry Springer tapes, it was a boxing tape. And we used to talk about shit. And we used to break it down and stuff like that. Damn man, this sounds like the best fucking barbershop of all time, nigga. Shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like I mean, like, there's so there's so much that there's so much that went down because this barbershop was across was next to a subway across from the University of New Haven, the, the University of New Haven campus. Like, dude, I mean, dude was a dude knew everybody. Like, if you like, if you go, if you type in his name on YouTube, you have someone. I mean, everyone from Eric Sermon to Pete Rock and Primo. 
to you know Charlie Mack. Like they all they all gave him they, they, they all like gave him his um, props like that. And the funny thing is too is like I, I mean I, although I knew he was a celebrity and everything like that, but he never he he never came off as he was like you know like you know yeah I'm Mister All That you know Dude was. Dude was down to earth. He always had he always had like advice. You know, he used to drop knowledge. Like and he was a hustler. He was he was a hustler in every sense of the word. Barber could you know could sew like his costumes, make shoes. Like he was he used to be like a clown for parties. Like he 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 made beats, he could rap and of course he was yeah. in the in the dancing he was known for. I mean, pretty much I mean, Steezo, if you ever see him in the EPMD video, you got to chill. He's the dude in the yellow suit doing the Steve Martin and, you know, all in doing that, you know, doing the body rock and shit like that. And he was, and, he, and to the end, he could still, he was able to, still, he was able to still do that too. Um, You know, but, and, and, then, and uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was kind of disheartening because, like I said, just the week before you passed, I'd actually talked to him briefly on some catch up shit. And, um, you know, it's like if I ever find my way in North Carolina, you know, I come through like old times, and fortunately, I was not able to do that. So, um, yeah, no, it was kind of a downer, you know, kind of dampened my mood a little bit. Um, but you know, but yeah, just just the fact that I had like you know music and barber and box of memories of him, you know, and not the celebrity stuff. It, you know, I was just like, you know, you know, it's like I had to shout him out like one more time, you know. So yeah, St- Stizo, Steve Williams. Rest in peace. Um, but then also too, yep, you know, Rui, you know, the Rain Gang Radio, you know, I got, I did the Forgotten Fades article, you know, got, you know, and I also got some more shit in store for like, you know, for the Instagram and the Twitter and everything like that. So, uh, so stay tuned. So for myself, Pasco the the Nolanga Representer, for Lauderdale Boss, LB, Shutterworth the God, Go Artist, you know, for King P, Bodega P. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace.